Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about uh, knife storage slash transportation. So I was asked to be on a podcast over the weekend uh, as a guest on uh, Sharp Talk. So go check that out if you're into the podcast thing. Um, me and Alex and Gerald and Tom, I think we just chatted about knife stuff for a couple hours, I think. Um, I think it turned out okay. I was pretty happy with it, and uh, they claim to have been happy with it too, so we'll see if I get an invite back. But thank you, Alex, uh, at Alex underscore knife box, uh, for really asking me to join that. That was, uh, that was really fun. <clears throat> so during that discussion, we talked about how do we store our knives? And I'll be honest, and I think I've talked about it before, mine are just kind of strewn about the house. I've got some over here on the uh, you know, cabinet, I've got some on the kitchen table, I've got some on my dresser. Um, they're just kind of all over. I do not have a fancy display case, although it's on my list of things to do at some point. Um, but I do have a couple of different Pelican cases, and hopefully I don't knock the tripod because I had to kind of raise it up a little bit to be able to fit the case in. And hopefully we don't have to uh, do any editing there when the camera falls over. So this is um, a standard Pelican 1200 case, but I bought it from Nullpack. They're a company down in San Diego that does custom foam inserts. And you can buy just the insert if you already happen to have a Pelican case, uh, or like I did, I just bought this all together as, as a kit. Um, and then I have another one over here, which is based off the Pelican uh, 2075, which I'll bring over here in a minute. So this one, you lay the knives in horizontally. <clears throat> um, and it holds, you know, two, four, six, seven knives, a lot, depending on what knives you put in, okay? So your more standard sized knives fit really nice in there. But as you get up to, you know, bigger, uh, you know, more overbuilt knives, if you will, they start to not fit quite as good, right? It kind of is pushing the foam apart. Now what is really great about these cases are, um, one, it has, you know, comes with this so you can put smaller knives in and things like that, but the foam is much denser than your typical Pelican case, right? Because you can buy the Pelican case that has what they call pick and pluck, so it just is a whole checkerboard worth of squares and you just pull out the little squares that you want to make your own little pockets, right? You could do that, but as you uh, pluck these sections out and you leave one kind of square row in the inside, it's pretty flimsy, okay? It's not going to really protect the two here, so you need to kind of leave a couple of rows and then you kind of lose space, right? But this one here, it just, it, you know, it fits your normal knives, no problem. As you get into your, you know, bigger, thicker things, it, you, I have filled this up with a bunch of Medfords and sometimes I just have to skip. I, I just leave one open, right? So you can kind of shove it down there and it, starts to, you know, kind of use this one up, but maybe you could fit a small knife in there, relatively small compared. Then you could put in another kind of overbuilt one, and then you could pull out, you know, then you could load it up with your other ones, right? So it, it will work. You just couldn't put seven Medfords in here because it would just be too thick. So they have this this case, this style case, in a couple different sizes to hold different 
quantities of knives, okay? And it's got uh, egg crate type foam on the top, so as it sticks out here, it will, you know, collapse and seal it, right? So standard Pelican stuff, it's got your air balance thing, it's got a handle, got some places for padlocks if you're gonna transport, things like that. I use this case a lot when uh, I'm going to a gathering, um, a barbecue with friends. My buddy Philip does a uh, Alpha 206 training barbecue thing every year. So I load up both of these cases and this one might be a little tough to see, but this is their overbuilt uh, case. So this one stores all the knives in vertically. The openings are much bigger. And I'll put a link to the Null Pack website down below. And again, this is a stock standard Pelican case. Has a nice handle, um, the air valve, all of that stuff. It has places for uh, padlocks on this case as well. This case is taller. I didn't measure. Let's just take a quick measurement. Um, it's about seven and a half inches tall and roughly 11 inches wide and 10 and a half inches deep, if you will. Um, but this one is specifically designed for your overbuilt knives. So here's a Medford full tie, which we know is super thick. Okay. A heater uh, POW in here. Back here we have another, um, you know, Medford tie. And kind of in the back here is a Fat Daddy. With just, you know, a couple of other, uh, you know, big knives, a Bodega and a Glimpse in there too, which are loose fitting, but your overbuilt knives are good. What I did on this one is I took some foam because it's so deep that the knife's kind of, my collection anyway, kind of fell down inside and it was kind of hard. You gotta kind of pick it up with your, with your fingertips to pull the knife out. So what I did is I took some little pieces of foam and stuffed them down in the bottom. I cut them out to roughly this dimension, pushed them all the way down. And so now <clears throat> the, uh, it, it has an extra piece of foam to uh, the knife to set on. So it raised it up just, you know, a half an inch or so. Let's see if we can get you down to see inside what these look like here. Um, you probably won't see my foam insert, but it gives you kind of an idea as to what is going on inside of here. So they're really nice. They make them in different colors. You can get them with the blue, you can get them with green, and I think they have them with red also. Um, and up on the top, kind of move this around a little bit. This one is bigger, so it doesn't really fit uh, under the camera that well. But you can also get it with some, they make a couple of different uh, tops as well with, either the egg crate or they have an American flag version. Um, so they have a couple of different style foams for the top of these. I can't speak highly enough about an pack. They can also do custom work. So like my Phil Harvey Gladius or my Phil Harvey Peacemaker, they're not gonna fit in any case that they make, but you can get them where they can you know, you can either send them the knife or they will do custom work for super overbuilt knives, for firearms, for, I've seen them do some stuff for uh, off-road shocks, big, you know, overbuilt triple bypass uh, shocks, coilovers. I've seen them do some cases for some big machinery pieces and things like that. So anything you need as far as a foam filled case they can do super great turnaround i think when i ordered this one and the other one i ordered them at separate times because when i first got my other one my 1200 case they didn't have this overbuilt one and i was like oh man i need something for my bigger knives so ultimately they did come out with this one 
which to, you know totally seals up and it's solid it has kind of locks here where you got to depress this and then open um they came out with this one i think when i ordered these i got them within a couple of days i am in california so the shipping wasn't very tough i'm in northern california but they shipped it out like the next day after i ordered so they're really good with that and their customer service is really good too so highly recommend them um, and I know some other guys too, they've got this style case where the blades go in, in this fashion, but in a much smaller case with the sizing more for your, your more normal knives, not the big overbuilt holes. And they come in like a, a 12, 16, a 20, a 40, I think they have a 40 knife case that has openings like this, just smaller. And the case is much bigger. It's more briefcase size, if you will. So there's a ton of options. They also have an EDC case that I'm looking at right now that will hold uh, one to three watches. And then, and then they vary, right? You can hold three watches a flashlight and like three knives, I think. And then there's one that holds like two watches, a flashlight and like three knives. Um, so they have a couple different variations. And I think I'm looking at that one, kind of the two watch plus a couple of knives um, case, which I'll use when I travel. Because oftentimes, depending on where I'm going, if I'm flying to a knife show, I may load up my smaller null pack with five or six knives that I'm going to show my buddies when I get there. And I throw that in my checked luggage and off we go. So if I could get something like that for a couple of knives and, and a couple of watches, that would be perfect. So anyway, I will uh, put a description to, or a link to Nalpex case, you know, EDC knife cases down in the description below. And please let me know in the comments, how do you carry your knives? How do you store them at home? Do you have a nice display case? Uh, do you have them just in their original boxes in the closet? Do you have them in the safe in an original box or just on the shelves? I have a couple that are in the safe that are in the original boxes. And most of the ones in the safe are just kind of lined up on the shelves. So let me know how you store and carry your knives when you're, you know, not carry, but transporting your knives. Very interested because it... We spent some time talking about it on the, the Sharp Talk podcast, and it was interesting to hear how the other hosts stored and carried theirs, uh, transported theirs. So very interested to hear. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate it, and uh, have a great day, and we will see you on the next vid.